worker shortages and solutions this month. We are taking a look at the ways we've seen the job market change and all of us lean on technology more than ever before. So during the series, we found out automation and robots, they're everywhere. And soon they may help employees in one of our state's leading industries, poultry. Receiving, processing, and cutting chickens, not an easy task, but the job isn't going anywhere. It's estimated Americans eat about 8 million chickens each year. Right now at Georgia Tech, researchers are working to create a cobot using a human and a robot to better that experience. It uses virtual reality happening anywhere there's a Wi-Fi connection along with robotics to basically automate and improve the processing at a chicken plant. This video shows what the human would be seeing carrying out the task outside of those sometimes tough work conditions, processing any sized or shaped bird. The machine would impact Georgia more than any other state. It's the nation's number one poultry state, leading the industry for decades. Farm Bureau lists more than 5,000 poultry farms. <laughs> Happening across the hallway in the same Georgia Tech Research Lab, a team is working with NASA to create a fully automated space station, taking a mission from start to finish despite any obstacles. It's going to do just like you would do, to, to move it around and try to, to figure out where it best belongs. And when it feels that it's made that sort of correct contact, it'll then go and push the connector on. The goal, getting the fully automated machine from the lab at Georgia Tech to preventing potential disaster in space. If we had a space station that's unmanned for, for periods of time and something went wrong on that space station, without this kind of technology on there, we could lose the space station. Another dangerous, difficult job, security. 22% of all security officer hires don't last 30 days. Rad CEO Steve Reinhardt has 27 years in security. You may have seen one of his all-stars, Romeo, at Truist Park during the World Series. Romeo provided assistance at home games last fall. The units itself have the ability to connect back um, to other people in case people need help. The large police presence combined with modern day technology kept crowds safe. Romeo did not have to handle any troublemakers, but posed for a lot of selfies. People loved it. From the ballpark and his pitch. to the diamond. We get a ball. Can robots replace umpires? This season, AAA teams are testing the automated ball strike system, or ABS. A sensor is above home plate. The strike zone is determined by a batter's height. But the final call is old school. There still is a home plate umpire with responsibilities, with calls. It's just that they're not going to be deciding every ball and strike call. The MLB tested the technology at lower level leagues for years. Players' careers were on the line here. They wanted to make sure that this is smooth, operational, and so far it has been. We asked Braves pitcher A.J. Minter his thoughts. I'm all about, you know, doing what's best for baseball. And there's times where, oh yeah, you wish, you know, you would have got a call, a better call sometimes. At the same time, um, you just can't take out the human element of baseball, I felt like. That's the biggest thing. And the automated ball strike system is not in Georgia ballparks yet. The closest minor league team using it would be the Charlotte Knights. Now, we've linked a detailed explanation about the development of...